We live in a world demanding, not necessarily wanting, rather demanding of information. And it must be now, not next week, not tomorrow, but now. We've always appreciated the value of time, but never before has there been such importance placed on the TikTok of the seconds that go by. Edge computing is a game changer in the value of time. It involves sensors collecting data and processing in real time on site. This means your data could be across the globe, whether you know it or not, perhaps the blink of an eye. This process enables the connection and transmission of data from mobile devices, such as laptops and smartphones, to the network. Here to share more with us about where we're heading, technologically speaking, is John Healy. John is the VP, IoT Group and GM of Platform Management and Customer Engineering at Intel. Thank you, John. We're thrilled to have you on Tech Impact. And I know you're here to discuss the latest groundbreaking trends to enhance our professional and personal lives. Hi, Mark. Yeah, I'm thrilled to be here. It's an exciting time in our industry. We have so much demand for information these days, and that demand tends to come with a price, time. Before we get too deep into the details, John, please define for us the terms IoT and Edge landscape. So let me start with IoT, the Internet of Things. This is really the network of devices, the things, that have embedded in them sensors and capabilities and software to allow them to sense their environments and to share that through the networking, the connectivity that's implicit in the Internet of Things and use the Internet as that backbone to allow them to share that information. And then very related to that is this concept of edge and edge computing, which is really about how we increasingly capture that data, analyze that data and make decisions based on that data closer to where it's, it originates, where it's produced. So the edge is really where we're capturing that locally and so we can make decisions based on that information. John, this IoT and edge landscape has been evolving over the last several years. As someone who has his finger on the pulse of the market, can you tell us what the overall benefits to IoT and the edge landscape? Yeah, Mark, so building on that theme of more and more data and extracting insight, you know, it's pretty phenomenal. We see the growth of data, particularly in devices in, in IoT, as being really significant. In fact, within the next few years, data will, more than 50% of the data produced will come from IoT. And increasingly, that growth is providing insight that enables businesses to optimize their operation, to take advantage of it. And the edge landscape is responding to that. As we look to increasingly take advantage of that data in near real time, make decisions closest to the point of capture of the data, the edge computing, the distributed computing landscape is growing to respond to that and enable customers and businesses to really take advantage of it and improve their operations. And we're seeing this across every market, manufacturing, healthcare, hospitality, retail, education. It's, it's phenomenal. Looking forward, what role do you see 5G, AI and computer vision playing? These three technologies are really symbiotic and synergistic. Let's start first with AI. We believe AI will, will, will emerge as an underpinning technology everywhere. All of growth at the edge, all of growth in edge computing to enable these applications and these, these capabilities to come to life is really fueled by artificial intelligence. And that is then enhanced by the ability to ensure that we have removed the barriers that the network tended to impose, like latency and round trip delays and bandwidth capability in the network. 5G helps us to address many of those challenges. So it will further fuel the growth of and, and build out of applications by providing that solution for the networking, for the connectivity part. And then underpinning that is, is really the emergence of computer vision. When we're adding the sense of vision to the application. Now the applications can see their environment and, to, and take advantage of that. So processing computer vision in near real time enables us to, make, to take responsive actions based on what we see. Just imagine the applications and we see customers doing them today for in response to the pandemic, using computer vision to ensure we're enforcing social distancing in an environment where we can look at the population of a room or, in a, or a particular area or a retail environment. Sensormatic have done a lot of work in this area, building the, the using computer vision to analyze and to help to, to, to ensure that social distancing guidelines are being, are being maintained. We also see it in healthcare using computer vision as a way of understanding and responding to as part of the diagnostics process to ensure that remote access, remote telehealth 
is it being enabled and being facilitated. We also see computer vision enabling with a combination of AI enabling secure applications to be deployed where we're increasingly seeing the emergence of human and machine working together and ensuring that the safety of the human is being preserved because of the ability of the machine to see its environment. This is a topic that has, without a doubt, resonated loudly during the time of the pandemic. How has this trying time influenced IoT and Edge customers? Yeah, Mark, what we've really seen as a result of the pandemic is two things, an acceleration and an infusion. Acceleration in, in the speed to which the transformation of industries has occurred. If we were on an evolution in these industries before, we're truly on a revolution now. The speed of adoption of these capabilities, these new technologies at the edge and in IoT have enabled the digitization of many business processes across multiple markets. And it's happened incredibly quickly in response to the conditions that the pandemic placed on all of these different markets. But it's also an infusion in that these new capabilities are infusing themselves into the way businesses operate so that they enhance the business processes that they have rather than completely redesigning them and rebuilding them from the ground up. So what they're doing is they're taking advantage of what these capabilities provide. And we see this in healthcare, where there are examples of autonomous robots uh, do doing ultraviolet disinfection of the facilities or in manufacturing environments where hazardous uh, processes can be managed through re remote robotics in ways that, that assist the, the, the workers and assist the, the operation of the business. That wouldn't have happened before, and that's happening more quickly now. Right now, we're all waiting for things to settle down so we can carve out our new normal. How does Intel see people experiencing IoT and edge solutions in 2021 and beyond? I think the pace will continue. What we've seen up through the, the last years is going to continue, probably increase in terms of velocity. The infusion of these capabilities into the multiple industries will continue. And the advantages and the opportunities that they're creating, I think, is really, really exciting. What we're also seeing is that the ability for businesses to take advantage of these technologies and applications, whether it's the application of computer vision or application of AI, is an enhancement of the processes and the business oper operations that they have, rather than a rebuild of their, op of their business to take advantage of the technology. So that infusion is a critically important part. We think that will continue at pace. I've heard the Intel mantra that the world needs technology that can enhance the lives of every person on Earth. So Mark, yes, we, we really define our purpose as being to create world-changing technology that can enhance the lives of every person on Earth. And through that, ensure we're making society safer, healthier, more productive. But underpinning it is the innovation. We're inspired by the ability to extract the value, the capability of data, unleash that potential. Because we truly believe data is evolving humankind. It is really going to frame and form the development of humankind. Necessity is the mother of invention, as they say. And Intel has spent over 40 years focusing on building solutions to help make development and communication more effective and efficient. What are some of the most substantial needs Intel believes are important enough to place at the forefront of its corporate focus? So we're excited about this point in time in the industry, but we really are building on decades of, of history and experience in how we can help the societies help our markets to take advantage of these innovations. It really starts with innovation in the technology itself, what we build into the product and the software environments that enable us to unleash those and enable our partners to take advantage of them. Investments in software like OpenVINO to enable AI to be deployed closer to the edge, particularly for computer vision based applications. But then on top of that innovation is the investment over many decades in building out the ecosystem the software partners and hardware partners that ensure that solutions can be provided in market quickly to enable our customers to take advantage of them and to really change their businesses and, and, and extract that value and extract those capabilities quickly. And that investment in ecosystems is something we've been supporting for many, many decades, working with our partners, working with our customers to ensure that solutions are available in market that really unleash this value and enable our customers to take advantage of them. There are tens of thousands of deployments now in this market because of this work and hundreds of solutions that are available to market to enable the, these, these applications to be deployed quickly. And we see many examples of this in healthcare, autonomous robots that are sensing their environment through vision processing, 
but also providing for disinfection of the environment using ultraviolet. These autonomous robots are not just navigating around the facility, they're avoiding humans, they're avoiding uh, other obstacles to ensure they can do this in highly dense and populated environments. Critically important. In manufacturing, working with customers like Audi, in, in, in enabling them to enhance their manufacturing process, particularly for defect detection. Just think of the numbers of welds that flow through their process every day. They have a highly automated uh, manufacturing environment for their cars, some 5,000 welds per car. And we worked with them to help them to inspect every weld automatically to ensure they can capture defects by building machine learning algorithms around what they should expect as each of those welds is, be, is being performed or being implemented. But what's increasingly important, and in fact in many ways is really awesome, Mark, is how they can take the learnings from those applications and then deploy them to other parts of the facility, other parts of their process. And we're seeing learnings taken from one industry and applied in another industry because of the flexibility and scale that these underlying technologies provide. What a fascinating discussion, John, as we look forward to our future successes in various aspects. Any last minute advice that you have for our viewers? The opportunities, Mark, that are being presented now are really just unlimited, almost only limited by our imagination. So my encouragement is for folk to lean in, take advantage, explore the opportunities that can be created. We're seeing this with our customers and partners today. The numbers of solutions that are now available are, are just continuing to grow the opportunities and benefits they create are, are, are pretty, really significant. But I think I'm reminded of our founder, Gordon Moore, when he challenged us and said, don't be encumbered by history, go off and do something wonderful. When I see what happens when we work with our partners and with our customers to bring these capabilities to life, to see what they do and the impact they're having in their industries, in their communities, that's when wonderful happens. Thank you so much, John. Great to chat with you. It's been a pleasure to chat with you, Mark. Thank you for the opportunity. Should you have any questions regarding this segment, please go to intel.com slash IOT or log on to techimpact.tv.